Hey guys, welcome to our March 2022 passive income report. In this series, I show you guys exactly how much passive income I earn and which sources that income comes from. So that if you wanted to, you could do the same thing and earn some passive income yourself. March was an incredible month for us. We actually have many quarterly dividend payers, so there were many more dividend paychecks than usual. This month, we actually got paid an incredible 27 times in the form of dividends and received a big payday from a new income source for a total of. On this channel, I talk about all things finance, wealth building, and how you can achieve the life of your dreams through financial independence. If you want to join me on this journey to financial independence, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Alright guys, here's the fire fund, our dividend income portfolio that I am building for early retirement. Most dividends in this account are reinvested into the underlying stock to create a dividend snowball. We got paid 27 times this month, which was way more than usual. So let's take a look at all the companies that paid us. We started off the month with a small payment from Visa on March 1st. The one share I own only paid me 38 cents, but I actually got the stock for free from a Robinhood referral. So it's free money paying me even more free money. That's the best kind of passive income. Then the next day on March 2nd, I actually got paid three times from Global X. They confirmed the dividend payment near the end of February, but it did not pay out until March. So this goes in the March passive income bucket. First, I got paid by Global X's Russell 2000 cover call ETF ticker symbol RYLD, which I owned a total of 374 shares of at the time. Those 374 shares paid 23 cents per share for a total of $86.70. This dividend payment allowed it to purchase three more shares on its own. This is actually one of my main income ETFs that I'm investing in every day. We've been watching this dividend payment grow every single month and we will see their March payments later on in this video. You will be amazed by the growth. After that, we got paid $4.83 from 34 shares of QYLG, the younger brother of QYLD, that pays slightly less dividends per share, but offers much more growth potential. Growth stocks have been having a rough year so far, and I have not been purchasing as much for this position, but all dividends have been reinvested to help it compound on its own just a little bit. And lastly, we got another big payment from QYLD. We had 393 shares at the time which paid 20 cents per share for a total of $73.56. The reinvested dividends were able to purchase just under 4 more shares for itself. This stock along with RYLD make up the core of this income portfolio. I have automatic purchases enabled for these two positions to purchase 4 shares each and every single day. A few days later on March 4th we got paid by JP Morgan's income ETF. The four shares we own paid us $1.91. You can see here that I do not have dividend reinvestment enabled for this position because I do not want to purchase any more of this stock. It's not a bad stock. It actually pays a really nice dividend and offers some growth. Not a bad choice for a monthly paying income ETF, but I'm just not a fan of it. I think my money is actually better used elsewhere, and I am considering rebalancing the portfolio and cutting out this position. After that, it was about a week before we received two more dividend payments on March 10th. The first payment came from Microsoft. The nine shares I own paid us $5.77. I think this is one of the best dividend growth companies a person can own. The stock price has been doing great the last few years and the company has a massive amount of cash that they have been using to increase dividends over time. Then I got paid $13.04 from 14 shares of ExxonMobil. We have seen gas prices soar these last few weeks, and oil companies like this one have seen their stock prices soar just as fast. The next day on March 11th, I received two more dividend payments from Global X, this time from SRET and DIV. I would not recommend anyone to buy these two stocks, but I have built up a large position in both already, so I just let them snowball on their own. I do not actively invest extra money into them. DIV paid me $38.19 from 412 shares which it reinvested to purchase two more shares for itself. Then I received $19.29 from 385 shares of SRET, which it also reinvested to purchase two more shares for itself as well. A few days later on March 16th, I received a payment from Horizon Technologies. 
Their stock price has taken a hit these last few months, but they still pay out a consistent 10 cents per share every single month. The 184 shares I own paid $18.48, which was able to purchase an extra one share for itself. A few weeks later on March 24th, I actually got paid five times. First, Nvidia paid me 49 cents from 12 shares. This is one of my growth stock positions, so it's nice to get any dividends at all from it. I of course reinvested those 49 cents as well. Next, we got paid $27.20 from 40 shares of Qualcomm. This is another one of my growth stock positions that actually pays a nice quarterly dividend. Their stock price has actually done very well in the last few years as well. The next three payments came from some of our broad market ETFs. The first was from Vanguard's High Dividend Yield ETF. This ETF offers some growth along with its high dividend yield, but it's actually a relatively low dividend for its expensive share price. The 21 shares I own paid me $14.20, which was all reinvested. After that, we got paid by SPDR's S&P 500 Growth ETF, ticker symbol SPYG. This was the main growth ETF in my income portfolio, so I built up a small position of 87 shares before I discovered QYLG, which then took its place. The 87 shares I own paid us $9.99. And lastly, we have Vanguard's Dividend Appreciation ETF. This is more of a dividend growth ETF, actually. I only own 4 shares, but it did pay us a generous $3.10. The next day I got paid from NUSI. I stopped buying the stock altogether about two months ago because it did not do what I needed to do for the portfolio. I still do reinvest the dividends every month though. And the 122 shares I do own paid us $19.59. A few days later on March 28th I got paid from Schwab's dividend ETF, ticker symbol SCHD. This is actually my ETF of choice because it contains quality dividend growth companies due to its strict investment criteria. Once I complete my income portfolio, I will most likely just invest everything I have into this stock. I currently own 16 shares which paid us $8.33. The next day on March 29th, we actually got paid 5 times again, and these were some massive dividend payments. Global X paid out again, but this time it was the March payments. First, QYLD paid us an incredible $108.20 for 515 shares. We finally have a triple digit monthly payer. All the money was reinvested and was able to purchase 5 more shares on its own. Then we got another triple digit payment from RYLD. The 437 shares I owned paid us $105.20. All of this was also reinvested and purchased 4 more shares on its own. This dividend snowball is really starting to pick up. Just these two positions will pay me over $200 every month. After those two, we've received a small $5.89 payment from 40 shares of QYLG. And the last two payments of the day came from Vanguard S&P 500 ETFs. I got paid $6.28 from 4 shares of VOO and $10.54 from 24 shares of VOOG. Now lastly, on March 31st, we received the last 5 dividend payments of the month. First, we received $1.33 from 3 shares of Fidelity National Financial. The dividends are not reinvested. I bought this last year when I was still trying to figure out what kind of portfolio I wanted to build, and I will probably sell this stock for a small profit and reinvest the money into QYLD. Then we have DIVO, which paid us $3.21 from 21 shares. This is supposed to be a monthly paying growth oriented covered call ETF and I think it actually does an okay job at that, but I personally am not a fan of it. You can see the dividends are not reinvested either. I will also most likely liquidate this position as well and reinvest the funds into QYLD. After that we have SPHD which paid me $15.30 from 105 shares. This dividend ETF has treated me well over the years, but I do not reinvest the dividends anymore. After that, we received $2.40 from 3 shares of waste management. This is one of my long term dividend growth positions and all dividends are reinvested. Overall, that was a lot of paychecks for the month of March 2022. It was actually our largest dividend payment month ever, coming in at $609.40. Now this was actually an unusual month because QYLD and RYLD's February payment got deposited in March. So technically it would have been closer to $400 in dividends this month. 
but even then it would still be the largest dividend payment I've ever received in a single month. It finally feels like I'm making progress toward my goal. Maybe we can even achieve our $1,000 per month dividend goal by the end of the year. That would actually be really wild. Moving on to my other sources of passive income, I got paid $22.49 of interest from my high yield savings account through Yada Bank, where I keep my 6 month cash emergency fund. I switched the cash to Yada's new high interest crypto account back in January and it does seem like I am getting a higher yield so far. If you or someone you know needs a high yield savings account that is FDIC insured, where you can win up to $10 million or even a Tesla, you can sign up for Yada through my referral link in the description below and you'll get a few bonuses as well. Alright, so my next source of passive income comes from my options trading. This month I was finally able to get out of both my NVIDIA contracts. I was able to get back my $25,000 of tied up capital and it feels good. Luckily, I got out of all the contracts with a net profit, but it has been a roller coaster ride for sure. I think I will be staying out of options trading for a little while now just to recover. And lastly, we got a big surprise from YouTube. I did not know they automatically deposit our payments for us when we earn at least $100 from ad revenue. So when I checked my bank account earlier this month, I was extremely surprised to see a payment of $229.24 from Google. We have been making YouTube videos for the last 9 months and we are finally seeing our hard work pay off. It feels good. I do not expect a payment from them every month, but maybe every other month going forward. I want to take this time to thank all of you for the support and joining me here on these videos. This would not be possible if not for all of you. So for the month of March 2022, I earned a total of $883.13 in passive income. It's not the highest paying month I've had, but it's still a substantial amount of money. Just a few years ago, it would take me 80 hours of work at a backbreaking job to earn $800. Now the money is just direct deposited into my account with little to no effort. It is said that the first 100,000 is the hardest part. But when you get that snowball rolling, it will eventually outwork you. We started this journey together not long ago with $80 a month in dividends. Look at how far we've come. Our portfolio is starting to help us more and more each month through compounding. Maybe a consistent $1,000 per month passive income is just around the corner. I hope you guys will be there with me when it happens. So that's it for our March 2022 passive income report. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for joining me here on this journey. I appreciate you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.